Hello there, everybody. My name is Hughes, and welcome back to another Dungeon Board video where today uh, we're doing it again. Yep, we're doing it again, Des. You have forced me into this again because of your recent, well, not recent, but your last posts going over all the things you're going to be doing. I do need to go ahead and have a talk with everybody again and sharing my opinion and what I think would make the game better. So, of course, the devs recently have shared over feedback of what they plan to be looking into and what's going to be happening with the game, uh, going to be happening with the future of the game. But they won't be making these changes until the season one. There'll be no more patches until the season one drops, which means we are putting all of our eggs in the basket of season one. We are gambling on season one being good. Wasn't the point of 0.5 to be testing changes for season one to see if these would be if the changes would be good for the season coming? What was the point of 0.5? Wasn't that the point of 0.5 to test? But since we are going to be gambling on season one being good, I do want to give the devs feedback like I did before. We're going to have a talk. Let's sit down. Let's have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down right there. We're going to be talking about things that will make the game better yet again. So without further ado, here we go. So we all know that hotspots and resource zones are a huge issue. Actually, just the loot problem is a huge issue right now. You can't get loot in the game, but right now, people even say that doing the hotspots, doing the resource zones, are barely ever worth of it because you get one singular sellable item, one singular purple. Pretty much, this is the standard thing you can get from any hotspot in the game right now. Wow. Amazing. That's it. Now, could you imagine if they buffed the hotspots and you got something like this instead? Ooh, baby. Now that's some loot. Like, come on. Could you imagine if they just went over the time to actually put loot inside the chest and you just get all these cool items, just blues, maybe a purple, greens. Like, could you imagine that each game mode has different items instead of just this? Just a singular purple. Like, come imagine all the cool loot you can get from doing the hotspots if they actually gave loot. Like, there's so many people that skip the hotspots because they, there's so many people not doing them. It's never hard because hard has a whole other issue that I don't want to go on about. The <laughs> teamers. But could you imagine if you could actually get loot in this game? Why does that have to be harder to get loot? Bring back the old loot drops. Like, as a wise man once said in another game, Ken Kenobi has literally said... And it should be good loot in all the brackets. Let people, give people the opportunity to get the gear so they can wear it and then try to progress. Right, like right now, if you're like a player who plays normals, you feel like you're stuck there because trying to get good gear while playing normals is hard unless you're killing other players wearing good gear, which is also very hard. It's like, you have nothing to start from. Like, I, I could, you could, it can be done, but it's way harder than it should be. And I feel like a lot of players are like stuck in normal limbo and don't feel like they can progress. Oh my God, it's so hard to get, it's so hard to progress progress in this game it, it <laughs> it's just so devs why do we lower the loot drops and the worst part is they like let's say you're like oh well maybe they want to stop ratting maybe they want to lower on ratting they literally said themselves that they, that ratting is fine being a sneaky little rat is fine they literally put this in a post so why are we making it hard to escape why are there a low amount of portals why are they green portals why do they break what was wrong with the old portal system the old portal system was fine but, like, get rid of the ring. Remove the ring entirely. Like, just... It's, oh, my God. We need to bring back the old loot drops. Bring back the portal system. The old one. Um, change how match... Also, altars. Like, speaking of loot, why is there no altars in casual or classic? Why is it only in hard mode? Like, how come when you go into the game, there's, like, no altars in casual or, or classic? Like, I know, I understand we don't want to give people, like, more gold for the lower game modes. But with the whole um, system, the whole treasure system that they have in the game, they literally can just alter it for each mode. So, in the hard mode, you can get treasures, the, like, really big sellable treasures. They could change those for classic and casual. They could give it gear. They can make it gear. Make it drop blues and then a 25% chance for a purple. And that's how you get your stuff. Like, they can have alters in all the modes so people can learn how to do stuff. And, and bosses, too. They got bosses as well. Like... Devs, what are we doing? Devs, come on. Think, devs. Think. What are we doing here? Like, there's so many things that could be better in the game. There's so much. There, I don't understand. Did no one test any of this stuff? Do you guys not have testers? Can we get a PTR or, or a public test realm or a test server? Like, I know people in this game would probably be willing to test things for you guys. Like, it's, it's crazy. 
There's so many things that could be better in this game. And the worst part is, man, the worst part is this game is so good. This game is so fun. It is so good and it has such a good chance to actually compete and actually be a good game. Like there's people who want this game to succeed. With the most recent update, there was like how much, how many people were it? I think it was like almost 8,000 people came back to the game with the most recent update. 8,000 people want to see this game do stuff. You will want to actually see the game do good. Like... And it's so hard to get gear. A singular sellable from a resource zone from a hotspot is pretty much pointless. Because the, the gear has, since it's so hard to get now, has skyrocketed in price. It's pretty much almost impossible to get a good set if you're just starting out because it's so hard to get gear. Like, and... I thought before with the portal system, the green portals, I don't know why we want that now after actually playing the game. The green portal system is terrible. I thought the green portals, from my understanding back in the day, is I thought the green portals were going to be the um, extract locations. So you can extract early at the normal like extraction locations, the normal exits, the uh, static portals that are always there. I thought they were going to be multiple of those. And you can leave early whenever at the cost of 10,000 gold before the ring moves in. But, it, I didn't know what that was going to be. All portals in the game, every single portal? Like, what? This, well, are we making a battle royale here or a dungeon crawler? Th like, make up your mind. Because this is not a battle royale. This is a dungeon loot extraction. A dungeon crawler that is loot extraction with PvP. It's not a battle royale. Remove the ring, remove like the whole green portals, bring back the old portal system, and put loot drops back in the game. People want to do a dungeon crawler where we get loot and escape with loot and fight people for loot. Not what it is now for grays and sellables. Oh, the game, the worst part is the game is so good too. It's so good. <sighs> All right, rant over. So let's go ahead and look at some of their updates that they post here, some communication, their Q&A that they've been talking to, that they've been sharing a little bit on the Discord. I'm going to go over this real quickly here. Um, I'm going to skip some of these here, but you can read them if you want to. I'm going to break this down real quick here. So player's feedback, one of the major issues was that the new loop require, uh, ends up having a winner slash survivor takes all because you have a ring forcing you in, and now with the new portals, you can't just escape wherever. So the issue is with this is that now you have a whoever's like the last man standing takes all the loot and you're pretty much just screwed. Now, of course, this is going to be changing in the future because in season one, we're going to have the pet system. But I don't think the pet system will be enough because let's say the pet system lets you escape with like four items at most or one really big sellable. You're still losing all your loot and you can't queue up in that game mode anymore once you lose all your loot. It's gone. So we need to bring back. I want the old portal system back in order to create more winners. We need more people escaping, more people getting out, bring back the extractions for all game modes, but make the extractions the green portals, the uh, stag the stagnant portals, the, the ones that are, are behind like locked doors and stuff, make those the green portals. They're open at all the times. If you bring in a 10,000 gold, sell a, a 10,000 gold, um, uh, uh, what are they called? The portal things, the stone cube things. If you bring in one of those, you can leave whenever you want as long as it's not gone. Put those on a timer. They disappear after, I don't know, 10 minutes. They're gone after 10 minutes or 8 minutes. They make them disappear. But besides that, remove the ring. Actually, they do say here that um, they want to add um, get more. Uh, they want to add more map extraction mechanics, which allows you... These will need to get tweaked, which I just said. Uh, tweak the uh, extracts. Make the portals the way that they used to be. And make the uh, extraction doors... Make it so they are the green portals. Replace those with green portals. Put a bunch of them in. Boom. You have multiple ways to extract now. Clearer ways to get out. Uh, clearer goals. And also they said this right here. Uh, even removing the circle entirely to allow more freedom for patrolling. Let's go. They even said that we we're going to be removing, possibly removing the circle entirely. So you can explore the entire map the entire time. Just put a timer on them. Sinners End also should have like some kind of like blood moon phase or something. Some kind of like darkness creeping in phase or something. Because it's just right now it's just a timer. Where if it gets down to the last three minutes it's like... Three minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. Like what? what is that? Like, give us some uh, cool like effect or something. Make it so like the darkness is creeping in on us or something. 
Give us something really cool like Castle does. Castle has the Blood Moon, which is awesome. I love the Blood Moon for Castle. Um, they haven't decided yet, but they will let us know. Since they haven't decided yet, we might not even get the ring removed. The ring ring might stay, which will suck. Which, uh, God, just get rid of the ring and just bring back. Like, remove the ring. Tweak all the uh, extraction doors, the portal doors. Make all those. The green ones. Put in a bunch of those, like six or eight. Boom, that's done. And then return the old portals to the old portal system where they're just randomly in the map and you go open them whenever with no stone required. So therefore, yet again, people can leave early if they want to if they have a stone thing, the, the dice cube thing. They also make that cheaper. 10,000 gold is insane. Um, make it so like people can still use those, but they can leave like whenever they want in the entire game at any time. Or they can find the old portal system, which is the blue little portals on the ground, bring those back. Those were so good. It was so fine. The only reason those were an issue were because of rats. But if we're fine with rats in the game, which you literally have stated, bring those back. Bring back the old portal system. Bring back the old loot drop system. They were good. Bring those back. Also, for people who want to know, we're going to get a we're going to be getting a battle pass system in the future. Um, I'm really curious what this has to offer in it. Is it going to be just mechanic? Uh, like uh, not mechanics. Um, oh, why, why am I drawing a, a blank? Um, skins. Is it just going to be like, uh, cosmetics, that's it. Is it going to be just cosmetics or what is this going to be? Because I'm really curious about this. It says no pay to win items. It's mainly going to be gold, consumables, heirlooms, and cosmetics. So I'm really curious what, is that all for sure? Is there going to be something in it that's really, you know, good to get in the game? Like, is it going to give us like a lot of stuff? I'm really curious because they say this, but is it going to be that way? I'm curious. We'll have to see. Um, gear changes and stuff like that. They're just talking about changing some things, making the heirlooms actually better and stuff. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, let's see. Updates. Twitch drops. That's cool. I think the Twitch drops were really cool. Because the Twitch drops made it so, like, you watch people stream it and you got more items from them. I watched every Twitch drop when the uh, Clothos trial was around. I got a bunch of items from that. So Twitch drops are cool. So looking forward to that. So bring that back. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the changes I still want to come to the game, despite all the things that they said that they want to work on and change. What things do I still want to be added to the game from my last Let's Talk Dungeonborn video, where I went over all the things that would make the game better. Let's go ahead and go over some of those things I wanted back in the game back at that time, and let's see if they were added, or if I still want those things in the game, or if my mind has changed whatsoever. So first off, better matchmaking. The matchmaking system now, with the whole gear colors and certain brackets, I actually think it's good. It does kind of suck when you can't bring in like certain like I can't go into like greens with some like grays like I can't fight people in blues and greens with grays or something like that kind of sucks. I have an idea for a better matchmaking in my head but they had to rework their entire system maybe I'll share that towards the end of this video. We'll see how I'm feeling about it but I do think there's a cooler way to do matchmaking but I don't hate how it is right now except for the Sinner's End Classic. That is just straight garbage. We have three hard modes. That needs to get changed back to what it was and allow solos to queue into hard mode. It was to prevent teaming. If that was the idea, was to prevent teaming. It has gone terrible. Terrible. There is so much teaming in hard mode. It is insane. All right. Number two, balance legendary items. Um, They're still working on balancing items, so we'll see how that goes. Balancing legendaries and epics and sets and stuff like that will probably get better in season, like they mentioned. Um, Rogue shouldn't be a ranger. They're still using crossbows all the time. I think that should get changed. Mainly, Gale Flight's also really strong. That goes with the legendary comments. Um, for the dice issue, they did remove dice. Dice are gone. However, they do have the insurance system. I think the insurance system is fine. Um, I do think the prices on some things should be slightly lowered. It should be tweaked a little bit. Like, maybe like maybe it's like a 25% of the sell value. Maybe it should be like... 10%, 15, I don't know, 20, whatever it is, it's, it's somewhere around there, it's quite a bit, it's a, it's a lot, also, gray items shouldn't cost, like, 6,000 gold to ensure, like, that's, that's a lot, they should be definitely a lot lower, uh, let's see, remove the game, remove the ring from the game, I still think the ring should be removed, you should be able to explore the entire map whenever you want, as much as you want, you should be able to do that, and not be forced into it, add a timer to the entire maps, and also switch the, um, portals the the normal extract doors switch those to green portals and bring back the old blue portals that would be awesome that would be so good um bring back the health bars i still want health bars that's just me though i don't like the health orbs i think health bars are so much cooler 
25% uh, auction gold cut. That needs to be reduced still. That hasn't been changed. I would like to see that reduced down to 10%. 25% is a lot. That's insane. Um, new rank system is too grindy. It's still so grindy. Getting to hero is literally a joke. You can't really get to it. You lose 200 points on a death. On top of that, you only get points for killing people at that point. Which is... Uh, I guess you also get bosses too, but let's be realistic. No one's doing bosses really. I, I don't... It's... Yet again, another sign of a game leaning towards a battle royale that should not be there. It should always include, I understand everything else can be removed, like the chests, like loots and stuff like that. Uh, it should always include extracting with sellables or loot. Uh, mainly just loot, probably not sellables because then you have people dropping gear for sellables. So loot just in general. It should count the loot that you extract with still for the entire, entire rank. Because it's a dungeon extractor. It's about extracting with loot. It should count... It should count loot all the time. Every single time. Loot should not be excluded from grinding rank. It should be included at all times. And also, PvP kills should count towards your group. It sucks that you have to fight... You have to literally compete with your group in order to get PvP kill points, which is insane. A healer will not be getting PvP kills because they have to heal their group up. So playing a healer is just screwing yourself. Kills should count towards the entire group because it's a team effort to kill someone. It's a team effort to kill another group. It should count for the entire group as a whole, or else you're just better off playing solos, which sucks. Um, new class, new skill, new weapons. Those will be coming over time, of course. Uh, rename casual to normal. I still think that should be a thing. Just calling it casual like you're a casual player. I, I just don't like that personally. Stats and orbs should give uh, default mana regen. I agree, because there's no default mana regen in the game. If you run out of potions, you're pretty much just screwed as a caster. There's nothing you can there's nothing you could do. So stats and orbs should give a mana uh, basic mana regen, like a default amount. Uh, it should be like a low amount, maybe like two mana every few seconds. It should be it shouldn't be a high amount, that's for sure. But they need some kind of mana regain because if you have no mana, you're just screwed. If you didn't bring mana pots, there's nothing you can do. And if you're a new player, you don't understand that, so you're just screwed, period. Um, endless leveling, but no extra stats after level 20. This, I think, should still be a thing. When you level up, you should be able to keep leveling indefinitely. There should be no cap to level, but you don't get extra stats after 20. So therefore, you can really show off people like, oh, this is my main character. He's level 1,248. But also, you should get a random item, a random piece of gear every like 10 levels so at level 30 you get a random piece of gear it could be like a legendary or a unique or an epic or an exceptional and then at level 30 you get a random piece of gear yet again it could be anything 40 you get a random piece of gear that would be so cool that would be awesome i would love that so therefore you're always making progress towards something and you're always getting rewarded for making progress so every 10 levels after 20 you're always getting a random piece of gear and you're also you're also able to show off your main character like, I love Pyro. Pyro is my, one of my favorite characters. So, therefore, my Pyro is level 879. And I'm going to flex on people how high of a level I am. So, I can see... So, like, when you expectate someone, you could be like, Oh, my God. This guy's level 374. He plays this game a lot. It's like, that would be so cool. That would be awesome. Uh, number 14. Uh, more freedom skills. I still think we should have more freedom for our skills. Be able to pick which skills, which two skills you want to use. You can only use two... But you should be able to pick exactly what two you want to use. More freedom for your skills would be awesome. It allows for more builds and more creativity for players to express their builds in the game. I think that would be really cool. Maybe it would be a little overpowered in some areas, but just nerf those abilities a little bit or tweak them a little bit. But I think that would be awesome. But yeah, those are all the uh, changes that I wanted in the last one. I still feel like I want all those changes, but slightly adjusted a little bit. Uh, four was dealt with, but it should be adjusted a little bit. Uh, matchmaking was dealt with, but it should be adjusted a little bit. So pretty much everything I wanted, just slight adjustments to those, and it would still be awesome for the game to have all these changes in the game. All right, and finally, let's go over my whole matchmaking queue idea that I have here. I'm going to pitch a very similar idea that I had before. I've had this idea that I've pitched to Dark and Darker for their queue system to where you have to have a certain gear score to get in certain brackets and stuff. I think personally, this idea that I have will lower the amount of queues that there are in the game, therefore making the game have less wait times overall. So, I do want to say that I think the game, instead of having a start button here, just because it would look better, it should say enter 
Dungeon, where you just click Enter Dungeon and it puts you right into the game. You don't pick which kind of mode, you don't pick the map, you don't pick the the game mode you're playing in, you don't pick hard, classic, casual, or any of that stuff. It's all just the game. You go in, it'll put you into whatever map is activated at the time, whichever map is up, but it goes based off of your gear color. Kind of like how it does right now. Right now it goes based off your gear color as well, so it's easy to understand. I think it should go off your gear color as well, in my idea as well. So you hit Enter Dungeon, and it goes off of your highest item on your character. So therefore, you can mix items better. So let's say, if I'm in this gear color right now, I get into green lobbies. This is green lobbies no matter what. This is greens and maybe blue, so green and blue. Green lobby, green and blue lobbies no matter what. If you're in all grays, like if I go to my priest, if I'm in all grays, I get casual lobbies no matter what. You are only in casuals if you're in all grays. If you throw on one green item, like a green sword, you are going to be put into the green and blue lobbies. So therefore, if I, I can have all grays and one green, I can still get into those lobbies no matter what. So therefore I can compete against other people if I'm better than them, I can get their entire kit, which I have done before. I have competed before how the system was now. I have fought people in Classic, which was the hardest, which was the highest mode, in just literally greens and blues, and I have beaten people who are in purples. I think it'd be cooler if you could mix your stuff like this more. So, whatever is your highest color, you get into that mode regardless. So, casuals are going to be grays. If you put on that, put this here, put this away. So now... I get into casual lobbies, and casual lobbies are only the gray lobbies. Only casual mode or grays. The greens and blues will be the, um, would have to be the classic game mode. And then anything higher than blue, which is a purple, would be the hard game mode only. So therefore, if you put on a purple, you are in hard lobbies no matter what. There's nothing you could do to get out of that hard lobby. So if I just throw on these gloves, for example, if I put those on, I am now locked into hard lobbies only unless I take this off. Now I'm back to casual. So it should go off of your highest item in your inventory, which will allow you to mix stuff better. If you, like for example, if I go on my pyro and I have greens, if I want to take my green build in into hard mode, all I have to do is throw on one purple item or higher. Hard mode should be purple and up, so hard mode could be like, I could throw on like um, the exceptional pants here, and now I'm in the hard lobbies no matter what. It would be cool to be able to mix your gear like that to get into other modes, because then you could go into other modes with not as amazing gear and try to profit no matter what. The issue you have with the game right now is that there are so many queues now, and that's not even to mention when they add more maps to the game. So right now, you have casual, Solo, duo, trio, classic, solo, duo, trio, hard, so, uh, well, duo, trio, no solo. Hard doesn't have solo, which it should have solo. Give hard a solo and return sinners back to what it was. Also, sinners casual is solo, duo, trio, solo, duo, trio, like so on. So when they add a new map, if they put a new map right here, like the hollowed mountains or the, the frost top peaks or whatever it's called, if they put a new map here, it's going to have solo duo trio casual, solo duo trio classic, solo duo trio hard. You see what I mean? We're going to have so many game modes, and each one of these game modes is going to have so many people. So if you just make it so the maps have a timer, so put all the maps for every new map they add, put a timer on all of them so only one map is activated at a time, but that one map is active for every two hours. The, the map swaps every two hours, so therefore... You have Enter Dungeon, you'll ready up, and it's whatever map it is. You're going to be boom, boom, you get into whatever map it is, and you get to play that map, and whatever your highest color in your inventory is, you get into that difficulty of a map. So it's no longer just queuing up for whatever difficulty you want. You're in that difficulty no matter what. Casual is only grays, classic is only greens and blues, and then hard is only purple and up. You could make it so two different hards. You have hard mode, which is like purples only, maybe? And then you have hard mode, which is exceptionals, legendaries, and uniques all together. So maybe you could do that too. Maybe. It's an idea. So therefore you could just verse people in just purple gear alone, maybe? That's another idea you could do. I don't know if that idea is good, but it kind of works out a little bit if you think about it. It also kind of just makes things more simpler. You just ready up and go into the game whenever. 
You don't need to like pick a game mode like, oh, now I have green, so now I have to do sinners. Oh, now I have blue, so now I have to do castle. It's just whatever map is active and your gear goes based off of whatever, the mode goes based off of whatever your gear is. I think that would be much easier and more simpler. In my opinion, you'll be able to mix gear a lot more too. Like I could go in with just like, let me go back to my priest here. I go in with my priest with just grays and then throw on like a blue spear. And now I'm in the blue lobbies, like that simple, right? I don't know, it's an idea. It might not be a good idea, but it is an idea. Uh, I do think though, there should not be two queue systems. So for example here, you shouldn't have to ready up and then wait in queue to get into another queue. So now I have to sit here and wait for this queue timer to pop just to get into another queue timer. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! It should be, when you ready up, it puts you into the next lobby, and then you wait for the timer in that game mode. So like, look, okay, so I waited for this one. Let's say I waited five minutes, right? So now I'm loading in. So I went from one timer to then, now I'm waiting for- Okay, well that, that was- <laughs> That was instant. Usually it's not instant. But usually you go from one timer into another timer. So sometimes you wait like three or five minutes to go into the lobby room where you hang out with other players just to wait another two minutes. Like what they should do is when you ready up, it puts you immediately into the game. And then from there, you then wait for the um, timer to actually start the game. I think that'd be much better in my opinion. But like, yeah, you go from one timer into a lobby with another timer. Like, it should be like, when you ready up, it's like, okay, putting you into a game, it says in combat, and then it puts you into the lobby, and then make that timer like three minutes until it's full. That's how it should work, in my opinion, so therefore you're not waiting for one lobby timer into another lobby's timer, just to sit around and wait longer. You should just get put in immediately, and it should say three minutes, so no matter what, when that three minute ends, whether people joined or not, you are getting into a game regardless. No matter what, you get into a game and you can play that game whether it's dead or not. That would be so much better instead of waiting 30 minutes for a queue, which most people are doing right now, which is insane. I just want this game to do good. I love this game. I, I, just, I just want it to do good. It's so good. It's such a good game. But anyways... Those are my ideas. Let me know how you guys feel about my ideas down in the comments down below. Am I good? Am I crazy? Am I mad? Has Dungeon Board made Wolfie insane? His ideas are out of this world crazy? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll be seeing all of you guys in the next one. Peace.